Hello Aquarius and welcome to another reading with me, Soulful. How are you doing today? All right, so um, it's good to be back. It's good to be back in the swing of things. I can't wait to actually do this reading. I'm really excited to do Aquarius reading for some reason this week. Um, I am moving house this weekend, so be prepared. No. <laughs> and uh, I want to make sure to get these readings out while I have the opportunity. Okay, Aquarius, beautiful Aquarius, intelligent Aquarius, lovely Aquarius. You know how this works. I will pull three cards on your major energies or energies surrounding your specific situation, and then we will get into interpretation after that. Okay? So, Aquarius, get ready. Here we go. All right. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius. What is going on? What is going on with Aquarius? Okay, we have a woman holding a heart in the reverse. Mmm, Aquarius. Blossoming abundance in the reverse. And door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse. Wow, I can't believe this, Aquarius. Some of you are going through it right now. Okay, so this is what we have in your energies. Um, some of you really need to start embracing your own personal healing right now because it is closing you off to love. Okay, some um, some of you, this will you can flip this energy. This could be someone you're dealing with that is closed off to love. Um, I feel your heart space is not open. Um, you may be in your head just a little too much about a person or an experience. I'm going to go with person here because of the holding a heart. This is highlighted. Okay, the woman holding a heart is someone who has you know, um, they've, they've, they may have lost touch with what love means to them. Okay. May have been hurt quite a bit here and, um, you're, you're not willing to offer your heart forward. Okay. And this is causing a problem within your abundance. Um, the, the energy of abundance is very much linked to the heart space. Okay. If you're wanting to bring abundance and healing into your life, it's going to require, uh, opening that heart space up and being able to heal it and heal yourself emotionally. Uh, some of you, I really get the feeling here that you're just feeling down on your luck. Like the universe is against you. There is some love here. Maybe you're being triggered by a relationship, all right? So we're going to go ahead and get into clarity on this, okay? Tell me about the woman holding a heart for Aquarius' energy. Tell me about the woman holding a heart in the reverse. We have Page of Wands. Mm. So I feel what's happening right now is you are probably in communication with someone, maybe a fire sign, okay, or someone who's very fiery or engaging in passionate communication. This could be anything from fights to um, to to make up sex to to anything. This could be anything, okay. There is passionate communication, okay, and it is at times it might even be a little too much, like a little too uh, fiery, a little too. Um, angry or emotionally charged i'm hearing okay so you're being triggered right now aquarius by someone in your energy that is that is triggering the heart space okay for healing so let's get some more and i think that you may know who this person is now flip this energy you could be triggering someone yourself um what else do we have for aquarius Wow, nine of cups. Okay, awkward. Um, you know what? I feel whatever's triggering you right now. Okay, whatever's going on, it's it's satisfying. It's satisfying you. Um, there could be something about it you 
you like or you know th there's a there's a sense of self-satisfaction within this communication like it's it's giving you something you need okay and i think that you feel it it it's giving you huh, i almost want to say it's giving you life yeah look at this we have eight of wands on the bottom of the deck here this is communication this is action this is um direct communication so it could be quick messages, it could be messages of passion that are triggering the heart space, okay, that are causing you to close off at times. But for some reason, one of you is very satisfied with this, and I'm not sure why, okay, tell me more about the woman holding a heart. Temperance in reverse, wow. So yeah, the communication is kind of imbalanced, I want to say. One of you is impatient with the other. One of you grows very impatient with the other and perhaps their form of communication, the way they talk, the way that, you know, perhaps it's, it's, it's become, yeah, look at this. It feels burdensome just a little bit for one of the parties, okay? And this is causing the heart space to close off um, or to at least be triggered here. Uh, I feel... Okay, what kind of situation do we have going on here, Aquarius? All right, tell me about blossoming abundance in the reverse here. Some of you are really down on your luck right now or feeling like um, you need to flip this. I feel you need to flip this energy, okay, Aquarius? You need to. Five of Swords. Wow. Okay, so you... This is your energy, Aquarius. You're combative. Okay, and this person may be combative towards you. Uh, you guys are probably fighting one another. You're trying to defend your position and someone is like trying to admit defeat or walk away. It's a possibility here that someone is trying to just not be caught in this storm. Um, I feel that because of your position, you're feeling vulnerable right now, Aquarius. And what you're doing is you're fighting um, to defend this this position you're in like you're trying to fight to defend the uh not only the vulnerability but like ego shit right okay i was just talking with someone about this a minute ago the ego is fighting okay it is fighting back and this is because you're in your freaking head um, again, you could flip this energy. It could be the other person who's combative. You guys could be mirroring each other. All right. So what's happening is you're, it's almost like I got to defend my position because I'm already in a vulnerable position, uh, regularly. And since you're in a vu vulnerable position, it's like, hmm, I have to defend my vulnerable state. Okay, so you're, th there's fighting for sure. Okay, real defensive nature, combativeness um, on your end. Okay, then we have emperor in reverse. Okay, somebody is trying to control the situation. You could be dealing with an Aries or someone with it in their chart. But um, two messages here. One, you are trying to control how this communication happens. Okay, and how it goes. You, you want to control the situation because you're vulnerable. Or the other person is trying to control this situation. You may be someone who's a little bit of a control freak. Or they may be. Um, just like this is what's caught. This is very volatile. Okay, and when I say volatile, I mean triggering. Okay, not that you guys are going to like kill each other. That's not what I mean. I mean that you're both... One of you is so vulnerable that you feel as though the only way to defend your position is to be controlling, okay? To, to control the communication, to control how it unfolds, okay? Tell me more about Blossoming Abundance for Aquarius. Tell me more about Blossoming Abundance for Aquarius. Okay, we have the Four of Wands in reverse unhappiness, un instability, not feeling the core foundation is stable. So yeah, you have a stability issue right now, Aquarius. Some of you do. And if this is a person that you're dealing with, cross watcher, you've got some stability issues here, whether it's your home life that has been um, uprooted or you've got finance issues. Okay. You're in a weakened position right now. And I feel what's happening is like, you're engaging romantically with somebody that you feel passionate about 
and they feel passionate about you. Okay, but somebody is growing impatient with this style of communication because the vulnerability is causing someone to get all in their freaking head and try to defend themselves like um, because they're already in a wounded warrior kind of stance. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, tell me about the door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse. Okay, the situation... Um, is not being allowed to uh, access the healing that it could be given, given, giving. Um, yes, three of cups in reverse. You may have recently separated from this person and you guys are talking or, you know, you're not just not getting along. There's, uh, uh, you know, you may have had a union with this person before for some of you. Um, but what's happening is separation and, and fighting and, um, you know, feeling vulnerable, feeling like, this person is attacking you and they're, you're attacking them. Okay, there's a lot of miscommunication going on here despite it. Um, let's get more. Uh, this is what is not allowing the situation to heal. Instead, the conflict of the mind is getting in the way. And it's closing the heart space off. You see what I said? Conflict of the mind. Ten of swords. Mental pain. Okay, somebody feels betrayed here. Possibly by the separation between both of you. Maybe both parties feel betrayed right now. And so what's happening is disharmony. Okay? So let's get one more card for Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. Six of Wands. So somebody here is concerned with victory. Okay? In this situation, uh, we also have judgment on the bottom of the deck in the reverse, okay? <sighs> Somebody, uh, this could be you, Aquarius, then again, it could be them, all right? Somebody wants to win. Like, they want to be right about something, okay? That they, somebody's trying to prove points here. You guys are probably getting in fights. God, this sounds so familiar. Um, you guys are probably getting in fights. Someone's trying to prove a point hear about how hurt they are and they want victory in that that pain like it has to be fucking expressed to this point where um the other person just gets it you know you got to get how much you betrayed me and this is causing a rift okay with the door to personal healing and happiness there could be healing here but instead it's causing um pain Okay, people People here are fighting and causing pain. They're closing their heart off. You're closing your heart off. You may have had this issue. So let's get, let's get three more here, and then we will take this into the extended for you. Okay, Aquarius, I feel that some of you really need answers here. Tell me about the woman holding a heart. Uh, some of you are dealing with a female, okay? And the woman that you're dealing with is, um, you know, closing her heart off. Or you are embodying feminine energy, okay, and you're a male, and you are you have a closed heart, all right? And so instead, you're compatible and in the mental plane, okay? It's all in the fucking mental plane here, not the heart space, but the mental. So tell me about the woman holding a heart, please. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Mm, Aquarius, I'm so sorry, whatever's happening right now. Um... You guys are just not, I don't know, somebody's not working, the, the, not working together, not coming to a conclusion together, not facing things with the heart space. And, and I feel what's happening here is in your past or this person's past, you have suffered a lot of pain, a lot of heartache around, around losing out on situations with people you were working with okay some of you just feel like nothing ever works for you there's a real negative vibe that i'm getting from this um there's just like i don't want to say sabotage going on in your energy but it's like you can't access your heart space because the focus is on the pain of things never working out for you or this person is feeling this okay so that's what's creating the abundance card in the reverse. Tell me about the emperor in reverse here. You're controlling, or they're trying to control, um, the, the way that the happiness unfolds in this relationship or in this friendship. This could be a family member you're fighting with. doesn't really matter. Okay, just take it or leave it. 
You're not going to believe this. The Hierophant in reverse confirming the, the Emperor in reverse. So your energy here, um, or theirs, is, is spiritual in nature, but someone is, you know, not very traditional. Uh, and and I, I feel this is probably your energy, Aquarius, here. If not, um, you may be dealing with someone who's a Taurus or has, you may have Taurus in your, in your natal chart. Okay, so what's happening is your stability, you, you don't feel very stable right now. Okay, and so what's happening is you're defaulting to this emperor in reverse, or they are, and they're trying to control everything about this and not committing to it 100%. Uh, there's too many unknown factors here that are taking place. Um, and what's happening is this could be a commitment. Okay, this could be a commitment that is not coming to fruition. Someone is a commitment phobe. This is what I'm hearing. Someone is afraid to commit here to this situation out of fear of being hurt again and opening their heart. Okay. Tell me more about the uh, Ten of Swords and Three of Cups over here. I want to know about this pain. Okay, there's a lot of pain going around in this, Aquarius. There's a lot of freaking pain, okay? <sighs> what did I say? Wounded freaking warrior all over the goddamn board here, okay? This is wounded warrior energy. You are the person or both of you are have your defenses up, okay? You have your defenses up and you're fighting... And it's and it's all based around pain. This is a very intense connection, and and because of this wounded warriorness, right? It's like um, I have to defend my position against you so that I get the victory in this situation. It's me who's gonna win. I, you know, you're fighting wounded warrior fights here. It's like uh, keep up that barrier. Don't let anybody in. Don't let anyone in the heart space. Gonna keep hiding emotion and not being 100% honest about my feelings. Instead, I'm gonna stay hidden behind my wall here until I get victory over this other person mentally. And, you know, um, I can walk away feeling like I'm righteous. Okay, this is what's happening here. This is ego fucking bullshit that's what it is is two people fighting each other's shadows thoroughly and fully okay and it is very sad because i feel aquarius that there is something here there is something here deeper underneath the surface so let's go ahead and get three oracle cards and then we'll take it on over to the extended <coughs> All right, tell me, what advice does Aquarius need to know right now about this? What advice? Sixth Chakra, Archangel Metatron. So somebody here has, uh, this angel is presiding over this right now, or at least the energy the energy, the mirrored energy of this. Um, third eye. Okay, the third eye is being activated by this situation. Somebody here needs to trust their intuition about how they feel about the other person. Okay, what is your intuition telling you? Is it telling you that you love this person or is their intuition telling them that? Okay, someone here needs to get out of the combative mode, right? And start trusting their intuition about how they feel about this connection, not about what they think and how they can fucking fight back and win. Because I tell you, I'm not trying to be aggressive. This is when I pick up on the energies, okay? This is what's going to stop this from coming to fruition. This card right here. Okay, the wounded warrior who thinks that they need to defend their fucking position all the time. And I feel this aggression and this um, um, inability to get out of the mode of like, I've got to win. I've got to protect my space. I'm too vulnerable. And if I, if I let my guard down, then this person is going to destroy me and my heart. Okay, so... This is where Archangel Metatron comes in and is trying to, to bring in the energy of foresight, prediction, seeing past the mind 
and looking into the mind's eye, Aquarius, and being able to access the mind's eye to see what is really, fully, truly, 100% going on here. Okay? <laughs> that's, that's what that card is about. So let's get a Moonology card here. We're going to explore in the extended what this connection is because I want to know what this connection is for you, Aquarius. What advice do we have for Aquarius Moonology? Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse, okay? A new moon eclipse. This is... I'm thinking that song, um, who is it, Gina, or uh, who sings that song? It's a total eclipse of the heart. Yeah, I don't have a good singing voice, okay? The total eclipse of the heart song, that's what I'm hearing right now, is there is a change here that could bring out some nastiness, okay? Nastiness that is happening. The sun is eclipsed. Enlightenment needs to be happening. Someone here is very darkly in a position that is vulnerable and it is so, someone needs to change their ways okay someone has to change how they look at this situation if they want it to flourish there is a big change happening here and archangel metatron is watching over this okay if you believe in angels if you're into that all right metatron is trying to bring this connection together by erasing not erasing, by bypassing the mental plane and egoic plane and bringing it into intuition and the energy of knowing on a deeper level that is not just knowing in the fucking head with mental knowledge or fighting. Okay, so what's happening here is a huge change for you, Aquarius, or this other person that is being triggered by this situation. So let's pull a lover's card and we'll explore that as well over in the extended. All right, boo. Okay, let's get you a lover's card. I think we need to hear that right now because I can feel the aggression in this reading. I can feel it. I've got the temperance card here showing up. Okay, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Uh, somebody here needs to be more patient. Okay, because we had it here in the reverse. One of you is being patient and the other one is not. Somebody is lacking balance, okay, of all their elements, of all their full faculty, okay? The heart, mind, body, and soul all work as one. If those are out of balance and one of you is only accessing the mind or only the emotions, then when you fight, it's going to be freaking hell. Okay, so let's go ahead and get you a lover's card. Manifesting freaking miracles. Do you see this? What did I say about Metatron here? Okay, we have your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. I, I, I can't put this any other way here. We got to get in the heart space here. We've got to flip things around because... Aquarius, this is something profound, whatever's happening here that's being triggered. And um, we're going to explore this more in the extended. So go ahead and follow me over to my Patreon. Six bucks a month gets you access to my extended readings and extras when I start bringing more of those out, including hopefully live Q&As here in the future. And um, also, if you come around there just to donate a one-time pledge of six bucks to get your extended, you can do that too. I don't mind that. Some people do that. They come in there, they buy it, and then they leave. That's okay. All right. So that's what we have for you, uh, Aquarius. I'll see you guys over on my extended. Bye. Your extended, not mine.